hey hey folks welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome my name is martina and for my regular viewers welcome back so today i'm so excited to share with you today i'm doing a collaboration with one of my fellow youtubers um the name of the channel is spain on the fork um is the host is um albert i love to watch his videos he's an awesome cook right he shares some really really great recipes you really need to check him out so what we're going to do today i am doing um chow chow which normally we serve with um like on christmas time really that's normally how i remember we, we will have this chow chow it's like a how you say a condiment i think it's like a relish that we would add to like our pastels and we apply some on our ham slices of ham and it tastes really really good and it takes our dish to the next level right um albert's paint on the fork he's going to do um a salmon in a cream sauce so um let's see how i do my chow chow and um i'll leave a link for albert's um video in the description box below so um i'll leave a link for his video and um his channel so you can check him out and um i'd be nice if you subscribe to his channel too as well and tell him hey martina sent you so let's go to the chow chow recipe this is one cup of green sweet pepper that i chopped up like diced very finely one cup of bodhi diced very finely one cup of cup of yellow sweet pepper diced finely you could use a red pepper red sweet pepper instead if you wish okay this is two tablespoons of cornstarch five tablespoons of granulated sugar one tablespoon of salt and this is six pimentos that i finally chopped up here pimentos is just like a seasoning pepper and it just flavors your food and it's not hot one cup of cauliflower cut up very finely one cup of onion diced finely three tablespoons of um, i'm using some honey mustard here and three tablespoons of ginger that i finely chopped up here and this is about three and a half cups of um, vinegar one cup of carrot finely diced two tablespoons of turmeric powder okay so here's my container with all the vegetables that i cut up here so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some salt to this this is our tablespoon of salt mix that in i'm going to add some water to cover all of this and i'm going to allow this to soak overnight so let me just go ahead and add the water Okay. Okay, so here we go. Um, I had my vegetables that we chopped up, um, soaking in salt overnight. So now we're going to finish with this recipe. So I have three and a half vinegar in my pot. My fire is at medium heat. So I'm going to start by adding the sugar. I'm going to add turmeric powder. The mustard. And I'll just mix this like this. Now this will come to a boil. I'm also going to add the cornstarch in respect to the um, the vegetables um, I drained out all the water um, that it was soaking in before I added to here so that's what it's doing right now I'm draining all the water while I'm doing this step After about five minutes, I'll begin to add the vegetables. Okay, as the liquid begins to boil and get hot and cook the vegetables, um, you'll find that the liquid will begin to, begin to thicken because of the cornstarch. So let us boil up, cook up for about 15 minutes 
and occasionally when I get a chance I just give it a little stir and let a bit of this liquid to boil down a bit get it nice and thick and I'll be back to show you what it looks like after about 50 minutes and of course you have to taste make sure you have enough salt um, we should need to put any salt because remember we had the vegetables vegetables soaking in salt but still taste it to make sure you're satisfied with the amount of salt okay here's the chow chow coming along nicely it's time to thicken up some more a lot of the liquid has dried on a bit I tasted it and I added a bit more salt I just love how my kitchen smells right now with that vinegar smell that we normally get when we buy the chow chow from the grocery store now I'm making it at home so yeah so i'll be back with the final presentation of this when it's totally drawn i wanted to dry it a little bit more and then i would um to take it off my stove okay folks so here's my chow chow looking so yummy and delicious it's colorful um i love how my kitchen is smelling right now um okay so what we do right for this with this like when we serve like our slices of ham or maybe our pastel for christmas time we will take a little bit of this chow chow and apply it to the pastel or a slice of ham and we eat that and it tastes really really good you know i love to have this soup with my ham and pastel okay so if um if you enjoy this recipe and video and collaboration with my friends being on a fork i'm albert click on the thumbs up button leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and also if you're interested in doing a collaboration with me feel free to contact me send me a message send me a private message or you can email me and we can book out something Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.